<laughs> Hi everybody. Well, I did it for the first time. I overslept. <laughs> so I hope everybody's ready to go. Uh, it's going to be a workout coming to you from randomized from the universe. And I'm going to call it the magic number is 10. And uh, when I work out, I... I'd like to random. Hi, Barbara. What's up? Thanks for coming in, Tamara. I was running a little bit late this morning. You know, my hair's a little wet. It's one of those things. I've been doing good, Sally. Yes, I have. Uh, but this is COVID-20. It's May 8th, 2020. And the magic number is 10 today. And when you design strength training workouts, I'm Cam Parker. I'm a certified personal trainer certified uh, health and wellness coach. I mean, I've got, I think I've got about five certifications, but hey, and I'm writing a book on that whole idea of loving yourself with lots of awesomeness. So thank you for joining me this morning. We are gonna use cards on Fridays. I'm wearing my tie-dye, it's tie-dye Friday, and I have my sparkles on. They're black kicks that have uh, sparkles on them. So hopefully there's some sparkle in your life I heard you can watch the troll movie, the new one in any of them and get lots of sparkles. So the idea is uh, what I call giant setting today. That's, it's, it's gonna make you very strong, very strong. And the magic number is 10. We're gonna use cards to tell us which giant set to do. A giant set is just three or more exercises together. I, I actually do that a lot without you kind of thinking about it because I like to keep us moving and to um, really invest a lot of movement in the time that we take where a lot of people think of weight training as I do an exercise and I chat and I hang out for two to three minutes and do an exercise that is for absolute strength that is when you are lifting weight that is so heavy you can't even lift it eight times you're lucky if you get to six six to eight reps you might be lifting a weight that's so heavy you can only do it one to three times that's a different style of weight training. That is not as much in the functional fitness category. Generally, we don't have to lift something really, really heavy. We need to move our body around with ease. So the way I train is functional fitness. In general, rep counts are gonna be from 10 to 15, sometimes 20, um, occasionally less than 10, but not too much. You know, when we do something really hard, like our balance lunges. So today the cards are gonna tell me what to do. I'm gonna explain it as we go. So in cards, there's four suits. So we have something different from, the, it's not about the number today, it's about is it a heart, is it a diamond, is it a club, is it a spade? Okay, so without further ado, let's warm up. I could have been warming up our shoulders, but hey, first time I've really slept in and pulled this off. So, not slept in, overslept, I think is what you call it. So we have two cans of beans. Right, and we're just gonna pump up. Some of you might say, hey, I'm gonna warm up my shoulders while she's talking. This happens for real at the gym sometimes. I come in, I'm like, oh, I had something going on. You know, I didn't have anything going on, but shower, hey. All right, and you, and looking forward to you, it is cloudy, so the sun's behind a cloud. Um, so I haven't adjusted all my lighting yet, but it looks like it, it looks pretty good. And what are you doing? You gonna work out? Good. Good, let me put some lights on. So you notice we did this first. If you're just joining me or joining for, for the first time with my co-video workouts, at home, minimal equipment, you need two cans. Mine are mismatched now. I have favas and pinto beans because we ate the other can of beans. And you, you do this workout. So I, I did a whole bunch of presses up. Then I started right here with the triceps. And these are light. These cans weigh about a pound. Don't use more than three pounds. And we do need to warm up our shoulders. Mondays with me, or you'll see if you're just doing these kind of randomly, I encourage you during the week, look how I'm doing a bicep curl right here. I'm standing tall, turning these. Is an upper body and a lower body every week. I guarantee Sally Kent, how are you doing? Work out with me. It's so good to see your name pop up. Terry, you're gonna need some weight, man. This is going to be tough for you if you have the right weight. Come on. All right, so we're bicep curling. This is just the warm-up. And then look. Look at this pour-out movement. We're going to pour it out. We are warm. I've been doing this shoulder warm-up for years. Years. Over a decade, for real. Because I injured my shoulder. 
and a coach who coached pitchers in the minor leagues helped me rehab my shoulder. So I use this as a prevention now. This may actually feel like a workout for some of you who have struggled with your shoulder strength. Angela, what's up? So now we're gonna pour together. You see this movement? And my arms aren't here. A lot of people start collapsing their arms. It's a full arm like that, okay? And what that's doing is warming up the rotator cuff movement. So there's small connections in your shoulders to help the idea. I can't see you, by the way. I didn't know if you know that. You can see me, but I can't see you. So the idea is you have to keep yourself safe and you have to warm up and cool down to have the best workout for you. Karen, thanks for getting on Friday morning. There must be, I know that we got weather coming here across the United States, gonna hit the Western North Carolina. And a lot of people might've been affected by what's going on and slept too long like me. Okay, so we're pouring out. Now everyone who's been hanging out knows we're gonna pour out all the obstacles to us taking loving good care of ourselves and we're gonna celebrate with that big arm sweep. So we pour out obstacles, celebrate our success, pour out the obstacles to loving yourself. And I love myself. You're supposed to love yourself. That is true. Yes, not a selfish kind of love, the good kind of love where you take care of yourself. It's not all about you, but you, the greatest gift you can give your loved ones is the gift of self-care absolutely take care of yourself and then your family will set a loving good example for everybody else okay Woo. right here see i'm holding it arms are level they're not down here they're not up here right here and we're just going to gently this is a pure rotator cuff movement right here with about a pound of beans if uh, you have more weight in your house, again, please don't use more than three pounds for this because we do a lot of reps. Okay, it's not meant to be the workout, it's a warm up. Thanks for joining me, Cynthia. I hope you hang out and work out. If you're just checking me out, see what I'm talking about, I am working out. This is the 20th post, uh, post that I've done for a home workout with one gallon water jugs, which we would need today, a chair, and the cans of beans. Okay, let's warm up our lower body, okay? We're gonna do some, the magic number is 10. I'm using cards to determine what we're up to. Yep, yeah, mm -hmm. I got a new deck of cards. All right, I'm kicking my butt. And if you're replaying this, right, then put on some music. I'm not gonna do that because I talk a lot and I have to explain a lot and music's not free. <laughs> And I don't want to go through all the trouble of figuring out where the royalty-free music is and whether I like it or not, and then try to talk of it. So I'm just going to hum. No. We are the champ. No, I'm not going to sing. Okay, here we go. I was singing yesterday. I was singing yesterday. I'll probably sing today. I sing every day, just kind of, I'm a hummer. I hum and do things like that. Okay, so what we're doing is we're warming up. We're just kicking up our legs. Boom. Kick it up. Boom. When you lift your leg. Don't swing it across your body, just swing it straight up, straight up. Remember, all my workouts are designed for beginners and seniors because I want you to be safe and I want you to feel successful. If you are on here checking it out and you're an athlete, like I'm really strong, then you just do what I do with bigger weights, right? But if I would advise you that you may not be used to moving your body like I'm making you, and it might be harder than you think, boom. Okay, now we're gonna do a little squat and kick up our leg like that, okay? All right, I'm gonna adjust this down a little bit. I'm gonna slick back. Finally washed my hair after three months. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so like this, pick it up. Like this, pick it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the whole idea here is to get your body warmer. You may have just rolled out of bed. You might still just be watching me and sitting on the couch. <laughs> I uh, can't get stronger on the couch. You can relax really well on the couch. One of my favorite activities because I like movies. Boom. I like stories. Has anybody seen Netflix Absurd Planet? Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty good. It's funny. If you like animals, it's definitely a different approach geared towards kids. I'm a big kid. Are you a big kid? All right, enough of this. All right, so. I'm gonna step back with one leg and just swing it. Just swing it. I'm gonna change my lighting while you do that. Keep going, keep swinging your leg. Swing it, swing it. All right, I'm gonna give me a little more lighting. 
Switch legs, switch legs. Can you hear me talking? Yeah, if you're doing a replay, you're like, where'd she go? Why is she not on the screen? So what we did is we swung one leg, just gentle. You just step back, don't overthink it. Hey, Stacy, what's up? And just bend those knees. Oh, here we go. If you're just joining me, remember we're doing a warm-up. You have to warm up. And on Fridays, Mondays, our upper body, or if you're doing this on random days, every week do an upper body, do a lower body. And if you're going to invest time in a third workout, the ones that I post on Fridays are a combo, functional fitness, kind of geared mostly towards smaller muscle groups, like, um, well, the core is not small, but it is geared towards more towards core and arms and shoulders. Okay, you feel warm? All right, jump around a little bit. Okay, so I have a, a new deck of cards. Right, here we go, new deck of cards. And they have been shuffled, I swear. This, this part of this workout brought to you by the universe, magic number's 10. So I'm just gonna go ahead and flip one. It is a diamond, diamond. So in the diamonds, it's all core. So with core, I'm gonna have to show two things because some of the people watching do not get down on the floor. And they also don't like getting down on the floor and getting up, but I'm telling you, all of us wanna be able to do that the rest of our life. So I'm gonna show you in the chair what you're gonna do and uh, then on the floor. So bicycles, you just do it in the chair, opposites, like that. So you're gonna come across, touch elbow to knee, elbow to knee. Then mountain climbers, right? Mountain climbers, numbers 10, and then you're gonna do side planks. Now side plank on a chair, you gotta be careful. You put a hand down and you lean into your side like that. And you're just gonna hold it because the rest of us will be doing a side plank and doing a 10 count dip on one side, 10 count dip on the other. So when I switch sides from the floor, you're on your side plank like this, and then you switch. Now let's say you're somebody, you can't do a side plank. That's just not working in your core. Just hold your plank like this. That's all you gotta do, okay? All right, so here we go, going down to magic numbers 10. So stay with me. Let me lay all this down. We're starting with core, which I'm, I'm, I'm sure a lot of you are like, yes, core, I love working out my abs. Yes. Okay, so the first thing is gonna be bicycles. Right, so bicycles look like this. You come over, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Part of the fitness is being able to move around on the floor or to move quickly brain-wise if you're working with a chair. Now mountain climbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm gonna elbow plank right here, side plank, straight leg, or bend at the knee. Please don't do straight leg if you don't feel strong enough. Okay, that's not good for you. So straight leg, lift up, very tight, arm up, and I'm gonna dip. One, two, three, four, five, hip dip, six, pull that belly button in, seven, eight, nine, 10, very nice, okay? All right, other side, I'm gonna spin so I'm not, I don't have my butt to you, don't wanna do that. All right, straight leg, other side, make sure you do not collapse between your ear and your shoulder. Pick my hip up, remember if that's too hard, bend your knees, pick my hip up, straight arm, and dip. One, two, three, Four, come on y'all. Five, pull that belly button in. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Woo! I don't know about you, but it's Friday and there's a three day weekend coming. Isn't that great? Yeah. Okay, all right. Okay, dry jokes, dry jokes. All right. Here we go. All right. The next one is a club, a club. So with clubs, you everyone's gonna need a chair. You could do it without a chair if you don't have a sturdy chair. And you're gonna need either your hands or your eight gallon, eight, I keep saying eight because these are eight pounds each, one gallon of water. Now, Terry, if you're 
if you just check me out and laugh, Terry's a really strong veteran friend of mine. He would probably do these with, I don't know, 30s, 35s, 40s, and it would be tough for him and it would be appropriate for him. For you, depending on who you are, you may, everyone can do this isometrically. If I had no weights, I could squeeze my muscles with my brain. It's very important to me that everyone who watches this keeps themselves safe and gets the benefit, okay? All right, so here we go. Seated row, so we're gonna lean forward, the magic number's 10. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, squeeze those shoulder blades, five, keep your chest out, six, seven, eight, nine, squeeze it up, don't rush, 10. All right, then we're gonna lean back. No, we're not. We're gonna bicep curl first. So we're seated, sit, we're seated tall. All right, chest is out, and we're just gonna bicep curl. One, two, three, four, five. I'm on the edge of my chair, not leaning back. Six, seven, eight. Control on the way down. Nine, ten. Now I'm going to lean back, right? So I'm at an angle. I'm not scooted back and sitting up tall. I'm leaned back. This is a press. Chest is out. Very important. Feet are planted on the ground. Here we go. We're going to press ten, right? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now we're going to hinge forward like we did for the row. Let the weights hang down. Pick these up nice and high, and we're going to kick back like that. This is a, the best, in my opinion, one of the best tricep exercises, the back of your arms. Okay, here we go. Going for number ten. You have to concentrate because this is tough. If the gallons are too heavy, you need to switch down. It's okay. All right. If they're too light, go buy some weight. Get some more weight. Fill them up with concrete. All right. Ready? Go. One, two, three. Keep your elbows up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more. Ten. Man, that was good. Remember to have water when you need it. Um, I was just thinking as I was finishing, yep, multitasking is sometimes kids hang out with us and work out with us. These are single joint movements. These are singles. Um, so for a kid, if you don't, they need time, they don't really need weight for that. That's what I was gonna say. You don't really want them to do weighted, but they can squeeze and practice that movement. Okay? All right, what's next? Anybody wanna know? I want to know. All right. Oh, it's another club. So no matter what the suit is, the number on the card doesn't matter today. It's just we're going to randomize, let the universe tell us what to do. Why? Because that's very good for your brain. And it's also your body is prevented from adapting. You know, in life, we get into ruts and we get into habits. Like right now, routine is important, like getting up at the right time. <laughs> um, so that's good, but you also want to do new things and look at things from a different perspective to keep your brain alert and functioning and really creates happy chemicals. Okay, that was your stall out. All right, here we go. Clubs. Magic number's 10. First thing's going to be the seated row. Sitting tall, hinging forward, and rowing together. One, two, three, Four, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now sitting up nice and tall and curling. One, two, no breaks. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, I'm gonna lean back, 
here, pressing, and the idea is to be leaned back at an angle, chest out, pressing 10. One, two, don't dump the water on yourself. Three, unless you need a shower. Do you need a bath? Four, five, six, seven, yeah, eight, oh yeah, nine, 10, very nice, 10, you win. Leaning forward, hinging, letting the arms down, lifting those shoulders up, very important. And your challenge here is keeping your shoulders out of your ears. Okay, hopefully you can see that. All right, now we're gonna kick them back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, come on, 10. Oh my gosh. Okay, I wonder what we're gonna get next. Hope we're not at run. Oh good, it's a heart. Okay, so hearts. Hearts, I always uh, use that to represent cardio. So we're gonna do a cardio burst, magic numbers 10. And if you're hanging out with me and you wanna learn more about my design, it's, it's about, having cardio burst, keeping your heart rate up and your body moving versus resting a lot during your workout. Okay, all right, you ready? We're gonna jog in place, all right? Now that's funny, I wrote that because it's a rep count of 10. <laughs> so we'll do 10 seconds, how's that? Okay, here we go. Jogging in place, nice and quick. Nice and quick, nice and quick. Jogging in place, nice and quick. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Come on, a little more, a little more, a little more. Okay, 10 jumping jacks, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we're gonna do a standing star or an X pattern because you're extremely awesome. And from this position, you're gonna swing. This is one time you are gonna swing over, so your body. So you collapse the body towards that, right? And we call it a standing star because you could do this on the ground as well. So I'm here, ready, let's count, ready, go. One, two. Three, four, pick that leg up by five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. And then high knees, okay? So if you're very athletic, you're gonna actually jog these. If, you, if you're not gonna run, then you pick them up. So here, here's the difference. So if I high knee it, see how I'm really picking them up jogging. So you do which one's right for you. Ready, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes! I saw your heart. Whoa, now they're pumping blood all through your body. Have some water. And I'm not gonna tell you what's next because I'm gonna have some water. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna have water on my jug. I gotta make sure I do that evenly. Mmm, yum. Yes, that is fresh water. Okay, hearts again. Here we go. 10 seconds. Jogging. 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 And when I do these type of randomized workouts, usually I do them 25 to 30 minutes. We're going for 30 minutes today. Okay, jumping jacks, 10 of them. One, two, if you need to, you can step jack. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Big arms, nine. Woo, 10. I like clapping too, especially on Fridays. Yay, the weekend's here. I think the weekend's been here for a while, but who knows? Okay, so the next one is the standing star. You're extremely awesome. You're gonna come across, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Come on, ten. Make sure you squeeze your abs during that one. And now high knees, ready? Either step it or jog it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! And the whole idea is don't rest in between those. Okay, all right. What's next? Oh my gosh, it's another heart. All right, here we go, jogging in place. 10 seconds, don't take a break. Come on, this is what this is about. The universe wants you to do this, or it would have been a different card. Here we go, jogging in place, jogging in place. Okay, 10 jumping jacks. One, two, three, or step jacks. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Standing stars, cause we are awesome. One, two, three, pick those legs up, four, come on, 
kick them up. Five, six, seven. Squeeze those abs. Eight, nine, ten. Okay, high knees. Either march it or jog it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. Yes, mm. it's a spade, ah, it's not hard. Okay, so you just gotta trust the cards. Trust your personal trainer if they have experience and they're certified. Okay, spade. Okay, gotta show on the chair and on the floor. Good, good chance, uh, good timing to take a sip of water. Okay, so if you're on the chair, right, we're gonna do push-ups. So I'm in a good plank and I just do a little tricep push up. So my elbows go back, push up. If you, if you say, I don't think I can do that, you can also quickly do your push ups like we've taught at the counter level, run to your kitchen. When we start, do 10 there, run back to your chair. Okay, so push ups on the chair. Then remember, push ups are planks. So we're gonna go from up dog, so we're gonna be an up dog to cobra. And if your chair is sturdy, right, you can do it. Now, in the up dog on a chair, it's not quite the same thing, so you have to press your head down. And I want you to come up on your toes, and you have to keep your arms locked when you do the cobra. Then, we're going to do opposites. So, from the chair, like this, everyone can do this, right, for 10. Or, if you want it more challenging, you're in plank. Just make sure that your chair, make sure your chair can't tip if I one arm it. So you might want to have your hands closer together. Don't tip your chair, stay safe. Okay, from the ground, 10 is the magic number. All right, um, depending on your house or stuff, it's okay if you modify your push up if that's what you have to do. But hopefully, I would prefer that you do incline like on the chair uh, against the wall, you know, something like that. Not on the wall, but with a piece of furniture that doesn't move. Okay, so I'm going to say that everyone can either do, can do 10 push-ups. All right, so let's do 10 push-ups. You're on the chair. So let me make sure, see what I got here. Okay, so 10 push-ups, right? And then we'll do up dog to cobra. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now stay there. Come into, I guess they call this downward dog, right? Someone will, someone will tell me that in the comments. And then up like that. You see that? That's one. Two. Dog to cobra. Three. Don't rush. Four. You got this. Five. I'm alive. Push back. That's six. Seven. Eight. Come on. Nine. Ten. Okay, everybody come in the table. Right, and that's probably a good idea on the chair as well. You're in table, and you're just gonna stretch out like this. Arm high and back, leg up. One, two, head is neutral. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Awesome! 10 is the magic number. What are we doing next? If being on your knees bothers your knees, please just grab a pillow, okay? All right. Diamonds! I like this. It's given us every choice. So diamonds, which our chances are pretty high. So that's the bicycles, the mountain climbers, and the side planks, okay? So in the chair bicycles, you'll come across like that, okay? and you'll do the mountain climbers with the chair, right? And then side planks are really tough in a chair, so you might just want to 
hold plank in the chair and maybe pick one arm up for the 10 count, pick one arm. So you figure, I just want you to do what's safe if you have to be in the chair. All right, here we go. We're gonna do 10 bicycles. Now 10's not a lot, most people do higher rep counts. So I want you to squeeze your abs as tight as you can and really extend the leg, really pull this knee in. Don't, don't kind of, you know, do it tiny. Do nice, big movement. And then really twist over. One, we're gonna do them slow. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're gonna roll over, that's part of the fitness, 10 mountain climbers, I'm, yep, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come down on our side, right? So you can use elbow or straight arm, okay? Here we go. On our side, I'm gonna straight leg it, okay? Like this, and you dip down, come up. One, two, three, going to ten, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I can really feel that in my abs. That's the whole point. Okay, other side, on your elbow. You could, if you're a more advanced yogi person, could do it straight arm, but remember we are doing the hip dip. Arms up. Shoulder and ears are apart. Pick up, do not let your shoulder collapse. Like this, here we go. One, two, head is neutral. Three, don't let it just hang down. Four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. So we did all that without taking a break. I'm gonna sip out of the other water now. Make it even. Of course, now I see where I set my water. Over there, okay. All right, mm, what's next? Take a deep breath. Think about how awesome you are. I am awesome. Everybody say that. Ooh, it's a club. A club. And the clubs are from the chair. Everybody's in the chair. I'm gonna face it on a little more so you get that angle. I'm using my eight pound one gallons. All right? Okay, I'm sitting up nice and tall. Everybody take a deep breath. Calm down. I know you're very excited about this workout. Remember, if you're just kind of jumping in here because you see I'm live, you need to warm up and then, hey, jump into the workout. But you got to move your body, get warm. If you just got out of a very hot shower, you're probably warm. Uh, but I need you to protect your joints. Okay, we're going to lean forward. Notice how my chest position stays up, right? Lean forward. Arms are down. Ten. One. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're just going to sit up and, and go right into the bicep curls nice and tall. One, control the weights. Two, three, Four, you hang out with me for four weeks, you'll feel a big difference. Six, go in the 10. Seven, eight, chest is out, belly's tight. Nine, not so tight, you gotta keep breathing though. 10, good job. All right, so now we're gonna lean back, right? So I'm at an angle in the lean back. Chest is out. I'm here with my weights and I'm gonna press up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
If you're very athletic, you could do that with whatever weights you want to that you know you can do safely for 10. That's really hard to do, right? They're challenging for you. Okay, I'm gonna lean forward. Elbows are high. I'm gonna check my, don't wanna dump the water here. Okay, kick them back, kick them back. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Make sure your shoulders are out of your ears. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very nice. That was great. Okay, what's next? Am I going to get a sip of water? Yes, talking. Makes me thirsty. Okay, we got this. We're doing great. Looks like we're gonna have time for about, ooh, I don't know, three or four more cards. It's a king, but it's a king of spades. And spades is push-ups. Up dog to camp to cobra. Uh, I think it's downward dog. I might be confused. Downward dog. downward dog, thank you, thank you. Downward dog to cobra, okay? Maybe it's down dog to up dog. Who knows, who knows, but just do what I want. Watch me and do what I'm doing. Okay, so if you're in the chair, you can do push-ups in the chair, then downward dog to cobra, and then the opposites, like that. Okay, so I'm gonna do it from the floor. Here we go. You ready? You ready? Okay. 10 push-ups. Ready, go. One, two, three, Four, if you can't get the 10 and you're here, just modify. Six, like this, what? See, that's a modify. Seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay, we're up, we're down, we're dog, to cobra. One, two, three, Four, don't rush. Five, think quality of movement. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, we're in table, using the chair or the floor, and we're raising opposite. So my right arm, left leg, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Very, very good. I'm sweating. Yes, I hope you are too. What's next? We're going to have two more cards. It's a club. Now, wait a minute. Why do, okay, that was a spade. This is a club. Good. I'm like, what? Okay, so the clubs. Back to the chair. I'm going to face you straight on for this so you can see it at a different angle. Seated in the edge of the chair, all right? Nice and tall. The first one is the seated row, okay? So I row forward. You could, if you wanted this more advanced, do everything we're about to do without the chair from a hinge position. Okay, so we're, we're hinging forward and rowing. One, two, this is a flared out row, so your elbows go out, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Okay, sitting up tall and curling. One, two, three, four, five, yes. Six, you have this, you're doing great. Seven, thank you, Cam, thank you. Eight, nine, one more. 
10. Do not just let the weights fall. You got to control them. Okay, now we're going to lean back, right? You're not going to just sit up tall. You could, but I'm, I'm hitting the upper chest here. Hold them here. Chest is out. My chin might be down a little bit, depending on my neck strength. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very nice. Now we're going to hinge forward again. Chest is out. Elbows are up so I can kick back the weight. Here we go. One, two, don't drop your elbows. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you're almost there, keep going. Nine, try to really squeeze it back. And 10, good job. And you may also feel that as you're holding your shoulders back and your elbows up, you might feel that in your upper back, which is part of the reason we're doing it seated so you can concentrate on that. Okay. Oh, two more, two more cards. No, maybe one more card, one more card. Okay, here we go. It's a heart, great way to end. Okay, it's the cardio. Here we go. So uh, as you replay this and you get to know the exercises, I'll have the workout in the notes so that you can do it on your own with cards and it'll randomize it. I really discourage doing the same thing all the time. It's not good for your brain and it's not as good as your body as chaos. So we got a lot of chaos, so that's good. We're all getting smarter and healthier. Okay, here we go. You ready? We're jogging in place. About 10 seconds. Woo, this is how we're gonna finish. Loosen those shoulders up. Come on, come on, stay with me. Don't bail, because you gotta finish and you gotta cool down with me. Cool down, warm up, very important. Okay, jumping jacks, 10 of them, or step jacks. One, two, three, four, five. Straight arm it, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Yes, very good. And then we have the standing star because you're excellent, extremely awesome. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very nice. Okay, and then we have the high knees, right? You're either going to march them or you're going to jog them. I'm going to jog them. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bam, you win. Because you showed up and you did the workout. All right? So if you're here live and you kind of just jumped in because you saw my name, she's live, what she's doing, what do you mean she's doing workouts? Every Monday, Wednesday, Friday for the duration, 8.30 a.m. workouts live that will be posted here. I've also learned how to post them on YouTube. My YouTube channel is Kamala Parker. Very fancy name. Kamala Parker, and uh, the newer ones are there now, and I'll be loading them all up chronologically. Okay, so let's cool down. I'm so proud of you. Whew. Take a good, deep breath. Let's bring this arm across like this, and you should feel that stretching in that shoulder blade. So I really enjoy using cards just because I'm just like you. I don't know exactly what the universe is going to tell me to do. I have a plan. Um, but I don't know if we would have we could have pulled all hearts the whole time and really hated it, but it was mixed in there nicely. Okay, switch the other side. Okay, good, good. We didn't do a lot of the diamond, a lot of the core, so I'll make sure I add more core in the next two workouts. Yeah, yeah, more core, yeah. All right, I'll do my uh, fruit salad abs again, maybe, you know, have you seen those? Yeah, you see, you gotta watch all the videos to figure out what's going on here. All right, now take this other arm and bring it back, and you're gonna pull on that elbow and reach back between your shoulder blades like somebody, like you got a bite back there, you gotta scratch it. All right, and then look up and notice how that changes the stretch. Okay, yeah. Hi, Darby, yeah, we're cooling down, that's right. How'd you know? I don't know, it must be a change in my voice or something. All right, other side. You have to wait, you gotta wait. She doesn't like it when I say that. 
All right. And down. We're going to take our hands, lace them behind us. Pull those shoulders down. Pull them back. Oh, yeah. Hey, how are you doing? Bonnie Hunter, yes, I do have a channel. Where's Darby? She made it out here. She's right here. That's right. Oh, that feels good like that. Okay. Now, either using a chair or you could do it balance wise. So if I have a chair, I'm going to pick up my um, leg and stretch my quadricep. And some folks can't do that. So you could put your foot on the chair, right? And that may be enough stretch for you. But the goal is to get that heel uh, to the butt, really, to have it touch. I do opposites because it's a little better for the knee. Whereas what I'm saying is I'm stretching my right quad and the foot is in my left hand. Okay, and if you don't need the chair, you just, ooh, that feels good. Now switch to the other side, right, like this. Yes, there's some other older stuff on my YouTube channel. There's me dancing some. And I also explain high intensity interval training during your cardio compared to steady state. Very useful video. Very important video. Need to understand that. All right. That's good. Okay, I have this chair right here, so I'm just going to put my heel in the chair and stretch down. All right, stretching this. I might feel this in my back or my hip. might feel it in the back of my leg. Just breathe into that. Good. Take a deep breath. Switch the legs. That deep breathing really helps your body know, oh, the workout's over. Cool. Okay. I was chatty chatty at the beginning of this workout. You can always, if you're doing this as a recording, you could obviously fast forward through that. Um, it's up to y'all. I hope you enjoy the hints and tips that I give you. All right? Okay. Let's put our hands on our hips. Roll them around. Roll them around. People go, why are you doing that? It's so like, well, first of all, it's good for your hips and your connective tissue, and it makes sure your femurs are where they're supposed to be because of those big star kicks we were doing. All right? Okay. Go ahead. Put your hands on your knees and roll those around a little bit. Why am I doing this? Well, it's fun for one reason. And look, you can do this. Can you see that? I'm a little bit out of the camera. Okay, but seriously, <laughs> is the knees have a huge amount of connections, the connective tissue in there. And what we found is when you spin them around like that, you're just kind of uh, getting them in the groove, literally. Every tendon and stuff has their own little groove point. So you're just making sure that's happening. All right, I hope everybody's going to have a great Friday, a great day, if you're watching this on another day. And what we're going to finish with is a Qigong movement that was taught to me by Peggy. And uh, she's no longer with us, so she's one of my guardian angels. And um, I always think of her when I do this. And she passed when she was 81. And uh, we all miss her. A few people on this will know her. All right, here we go. We're going to take a deep breath in. <sighs> like that, yeah. Make sure you make some noise. She, would, she was very tough about that. All right, so smile. Big inhale. <sighs> and, and Darby knows. Okay, here we go. Last one. <sighs> Good job. So glad you showed up and worked out. Keep taking loving. Good care of yourself. I'll see you Monday morning. And stay safe. Stay home if you know you're supposed to. And I do love you. Bye-bye.